Welcome to episode 28 of Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we'll focus on Eastern and Southeastern Asia. For the sake of this episode, the countries we'll look at are China, Mongolia, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Miramar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor-Leste, and Vietnam. We'll learn how to make different land representations using clay, use cardstock to represent different Asia architectures, and learn some facts about the Eastern and Southeastern Asia along the way. Also, we'll have some fun with a China Mulan activity and finish our episode with our 28th iteration of our time travel geography game. Today, you'll need your starter pack and the clay and cardstock expansion pack, so let's jump in! Welcome to Cartography. I'm your host, Mark. I'd like to start by letting you know one of my favorite amusement parks is Universal Studios in Florida. I like how it has a wide range of attractions, including roller coasters and 3D movie rides. Make sure to let me know what your favorite amusement park is and why below so I can get to know you better. Now let's get into cartography and geography. Do you know much about Eastern and Southeastern Asia countries? China is a vast country with a land area of approximately 9.6 million square kilometers or 3.7 million square miles, making it the third largest country in the world after Russia and Canada. It has a diverse range of landscapes including mountains, plateaus, deserts, basins, plains, and coasts. China's coastline stretches for over 18,000 kilometers or 11,000 miles along the Pacific Ocean and various seas. China is also the most populous country in the world with approximately 1.4 billion people as of 2021. Mongolia is a landlocked country in East Asia, located between China in the south and Russia to the north. It has a total land area of approximately 1.6 million square kilometers or 603,000 square miles, making it the 18th largest country in the world. Mongolia's geography is characterized by vast steppes, grasslands, deserts, and mountain ranges, including the Altai Mountains, which run through the western part of the country. As of 2021, Mongolia has a population of approximately 3.2 million people, making it one of the least densely populated countries in the world. North Korea is a country located in East Asia. It covers an area of approximately 120,540 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 46,541 square miles. The country has a population of around 25 million people, with the capital city of Pyongyang being the largest and most populous city in the country. North Korea is known for its rugged terrain, with over 80% of the land being covered by mountains and hills. The country has a long coastline along the Sea of Japan to the east, which provides access to important fishing grounds. South Korea is a country located in East Asia. It covers an area of approximately 100,210 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 38,691 square miles. The country has a population of around 51 million people, with the capital being Seoul, which is the largest and most populous city in the country. South Korea has a diverse geography with mountainous regions in the east and south, and flatlands to the west. Japan is an island nation located in East Asia, consisting of four main islands and thousands of smaller islands. It covers an area of approximately 377,915 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 145,914 square miles. 
The country has a population of around 126 million people, making it the 10th largest country in the world by population. Tokyo is the capital city and largest city in Japan, with a population of over 13 million people. Japan is known for its unique and diverse geography with mountainous terrain covering much of the country and numerous active volcanoes. Brunei is a small sovereign state located on the north coast of the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. It covers an area of approximately 5,765 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 2,226 square miles, making it one of the smallest countries in the world. The country has a population of around 460,000 people, with the capital city of Bandar Sergi Begwan being the largest and most populous city. Brunei is mostly covered by lush rainforests and its terrain is characterized by low-lying coastal plains, hills, and mountains. Cambodia is a country located in Southeast Asia, bordered by Thailand to the northwest, Laos to the northeast, Vietnam to the east, and the Gulf of Thailand to the southwest. It covers an area of approximately 181,035 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 69,898 square miles. The country has a population of around 16 million people, with the capital city of Phnom Penh being the largest and most populous city in the country. Cambodia is known for its varied geography, which includes low-lying plains, rolling hills, and highlands. Indonesia is a vast archipelago nation located in Southeast Asia, consisting of more than 17,000 islands. It covers an area of approximately 1.9 million square kilometers, which is equivalent to 735,358 square miles, making it the world's largest island nation. The country has a population of around 270 million people, making it the world's fourth most populous country. Indonesia is known for its diverse geography, which includes tropical rainforests, high mountains, and extensive coastlines. The country is home to several active volcanoes and is prone to earthquakes and tsunamis due to its location on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Laos is a landlocked country located in Southeast Asia. It covers an area of approximately 236,800 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 91,428 square miles. The country has a population of around 7 million people, with the capital city of Vingtang being the largest and most populous city. Laos is known for its rugged and mountainous terrain with several major rivers including the Mekong River flowing through the country. Malaysia is a country located in Southeast Asia consisting of two main regions Peninsular Malaysia and East Malaysia on the island of Borneo. The country covers an area of approximately 300 and 29,847 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 127,724 square miles, and has a population of around 32 million people. The capital city of Malaysia is Kuala Lumpur, which is also the largest and most populous city in the country. Malaysia has a varied geography which includes tropical rainforests, highlands, and extensive coastlands. Miramar, also known as Burma, is a country located in Southeast Asia. The country covers an area of approximately 676,578 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 261,228 square miles, and has a population of around 54 million people. The capital city of Miramar is Nyamjam, but the largest and most populous city is Yangon. Mi Miramar 
has a varied geography which includes mountains, plains, and extensive coastlines along the Bay of Bengal and the Adaman Sea. The Philippines is an archipelagic country located in Southeast Asia, consisting over 7,000 islands. The country covers an area of approximately 300,000 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 115,000 square miles, and has a population of around 110 million people, making it the world's 13th most populous country. The capital city of the Philippines is Manila, which is also the largest and most populous city in the country. The Philippines is known for its ge diverse geography, which includes tropical rainforests, mountains, and extensive coastlines. Singapore is a city-state located in Southeast Asia, consisting of main island and 62 smaller islands. The country covers an area of approximately 728 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 281 square miles, and has a population of around 5.7 million people. Singapore is one of the world's most densely populated countries with a highly urbanized landscape. The country's geography is largely flat with low-lying land and no significant natural resources. Thailand is a country located in Southeast Asia. The country covers an area of approximately 513,000 square kilometers, which is roughly equivalent to 198,000 square miles, and has a population of around 69 million people. The capital city of Thailand is Bangkok, which is also the largest and most populous city in the country. Thailand is also known for its diverse geography, which includes mountains, rainforests, and extensive coastlines. Timor-Leste, also known as East Timor, is a small country located in Southeast Asia, occupying the eastern half of the island of Timor and several smaller islands. The country covers an area of approximately 14,874 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 5,743 square miles, and has a population of around 1.3 million people. Timor-Leste is known for its rugged terrain, which includes mountain ranges and dense rainforests. The country's coastline is also notable with extensive coral reefs and marine biodiversity. Vietnam is a country located in Southeast Asia, bordered by China, Laos, Cambodia, and the South China Sea. The country covers an area of approximately 331,212 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 127,882 square miles, and has a population of around 98 million people. Vietnam is known for its diverse geography, which includes mountains, forests, and extensive coastlines along the South China Sea. For our first activity today, I would like you to first draw a map of East and Southeastern Asia using a piece of paper. Once you are complete, use the clay to define the borders of the map you sketched. You may want to use markers to color your clay once it is dry. Here is how I would do it. The Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world, after the Nile in Africa and the Amazon in South America. The river flows for 6,300 kilometers or 3,917 miles from its source in the Tibetan Plateau through China and into the East China Sea. The Yangtze River is an important waterway for transportation and commerce in China. 
The river also provides water for irrigation and hydroelectric power generation with several large dams built along its course, including the famous Three Gorges Dam. Use the clay to create the river on your Asia map. Once it is dry, use the markers to color the clay. Here is how I would do it. K2 is the second highest mountain in the world, located in the Kar Karakum Range on the border between Pakistan and China. It is known as the Savage Mountain due to the extreme difficulty of climbing it and its notoriously dangerous reputation. K2 has a height of 8,611 meters or 28,251 feet and is part of the 8,000ers, a group of 14 peaks over 8,000 meters in height. It is considered by many climbers to be the most challenging of all the 8,000ers to climb with steep icy slopes, high winds, and frequent avalanches. Use the clay to create the mountain on your Asia map. Once it is dry, use the markers to color the clay. Here is how I would do it. Sumatra is home to one of the world's most diverse and important rainforests, known as the Sumatra Rainforest. It is located on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia and covers an area of approximately 25 million hectares. The Sumatra Rainforest is one of the last remaining rainforests in Southeast Asia and is home to a remarkable variety of flora and fauna including some of the most critically endangered species in the world. These include the Sumatran tiger, Sumatran rhinos, orangutans, and as well as other rare and threatened species of plants and animals. Use the clay to create the forest on your Asia map. Once it is dry, use the markers to color the clay. Here is how I would do it. The Gobi Desert is a large desert region in East Asia, covering parts of northern and northwestern China and southern Mongolia. It is the fifth largest desert in the world with an area of approximately 500,000 square miles or 1.3 million square kilometers. The Gobi is a cold desert characterized by extreme temperature fluctuations with temperatures ranging from as high as 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius during the day to as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 40 degrees Celsius at night. It is also known for its rugged terrain with rocky mountains, sand dunes, and gravel plains. Use the clay to create the desert on your Asia map. Once it is dry, use the markers to color the clay. Here is how I would do it. Qinghai Lake is also known as Lake Kokonor, is the largest lake in China, located in Qinghai province on the northeastern part of the Tibetan Plateau. It has an area of approximately 4,500 square kilometers and an average depth of around 20 meters. Qinghai Lake is considered an important natural treasure in China due to its unique ecological features, cultural value, and its significance to the local nomadic Tibetan population. Use the clay to create the lake on your Asia map. Once it is dry, use the markers to color the clay. Here is how I would do it. Now let's look at some landmarks of the region. The Great Wall of China and Angkor Wat are two great ones. The Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications that were built over several centuries to protect China's northern borders from invading nomadic tribes. The wall stretches over 13,000 miles or 21,000 kilometers from east to west, covering a wide range of terrain, including mountains, deserts, and grasslands. The Great Wall was built in stages beginning in the 17th century BC and continuing through the Ming Dynasty in the 17th century AD. Angkor Wat is a temple complex located in Siem Reap, Cambodia, 
and is one of the most famous and important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. Built during the 12th century of the Khmer Empire, Angkor Wat is considered one of the largest religious monuments in the world. The temple complex covers an area of approximately 162.6 hectares. Use the clay to create the two landmarks on your Asia map. Once it is dry, use the markers to color them. Here is how I would do it. Once you are complete, take a picture of your map and send it to me so I can feature it in our announcement section. Now let's look at some smaller scale maps. South Asia has had unique architectural styles throughout history. Two great examples are traditional Japanese architecture and neotropical architecture. Traditional Japanese architecture style is known for its minimalist design, use of natural materials, and harmonious integration with its surrounding environment. Japanese architecture has a long history dating back to the prehistoric Jaman period and has been influenced by a variety of factors including religion, culture, and technology. This type of architecture is easily identified by the steep roof symmetry, use of various types of sliding doors, and incorporation of gardens in outdoor spaces. In Southeast Asia, the hot and humid climates and the need for natural ventilation and shading have influenced the design of buildings, resulting in a unique tropical architecture that combines traditional and modern elements. Overall, neo-tropical architecture in Southeast Asia is still a developing field, but architects and designers are increasingly recognizing the importance of designing buildings that are sustainable, responsive, to the local climate and rooted in the cultural traditions of the region. As for our next activity, use the cardstock with the markers to construct a building using elements from traditional Japanese and neotropical architecture. Here is how I would do it. Once you are complete, please take a picture of your building and send it to me so we can feature it in our announcement section. Disney's Mulan is a 1998 animated musical film produced by Walt Disney Features Animation and released by Walt Disney Pictures. The film is based on the Chinese legend of Hua Mulan, a young woman who disguised herself as a man to take her elderly father's place in the army and ultimately becomes a hero. For today's activity, you will be the hero of Mulan. Navigate her from her small town to the enemy's fortress in the least turns as possible, while collecting enough soldiers to defeat the fortress. Once you are complete, take a picture of it and send it to me so we can feature it in our announcement section. The final thing we'll be doing today is the 28th installment of a game we'll be completing throughout the year. It is the near future and you are a detective for a time travel company. A group of criminals called the Agent are going back in time to change the past. It is your responsibility to determine when, where, and what they're going to steal based on clues sent to us. Today's clues are over 8,000 life-size sculptures, year it was discovered, and the country it was made. Send your answers in with your name for Season 1 points to be posted in our notification section. That's all for episode 28 of Cartography and Geography Club. I hope you had fun, and I look forward to next week's episode where we'll continue our Asia and Australia classes by looking at Australia and its surrounding countries. Have a great week!